Welcome back to Sorry I'm Having a Clue, which is the big quiz that everybody loves on Radio 4, and it's got several big stars, and of course the biggest of them all is Graham Garden. I'm going to say that to everybody, by the way. No, I thought you probably would, yes. <laughs> well, I'll call them all Graham Garden. Well, that's right, which would be a bit embarrassing. I'll tell you what I like about you on this quiz. You're odd and different and peculiar, and you've got funny, haven't you? Um, you mean over the years I've got funny, or I've, <laughs> I've, I've got funny somewhere lurking about my person. Uh, yeah, probably I have. Do you enjoy it? I mean, you always seem to be the one that comes across with great warmth, and not every comedian does like Jack Deere we're going to talk about later. Well, no, Jack's a very warm, cuddly guy, really. I don't know if I come across uh, with warmth, it's because I'm probably smiling a lot of the time when we do the show, and uh, as they say, a smile is the only bit of body language you can hear. <laughs> so uh, I do, I have a great time, and I, I'm smiling because I'm enjoying what everyone else is doing. The great thing about the show is when we do it on the radio, of course, it's a different show every time, and we do try not to let on to each other what we're going to be doing. So we try to surprise and entertain each other as much as anything. Doing it on the road is different. We've got a, a sort of fairly set formula for the show, although it does differ from, uh, from night to night. And that's that's what the fun of it is, developing things that sort of grow as we go along or, or drop out as, the, as we try eight times to make it work and it doesn't. As far as I can see, this is more or less all your fault, this show, because you've really been here from the beginning, haven't you? Uh, it was kind of my fault. Well, it was certainly blamed on me um, after the first pilot we did, because, uh, I mean, what we did uh, was Bill Oddie and I used to be writing, I'm sorry, I, uh, I'll read that again on the radio, which was a, a sketch show with John Cleese and Tim and Bill Oddie and me and David Hatch and Joe Kendall. Uh, and Bill and I didn't have time to write another series. We started working in television, and um, I'd been on a couple of panel games, and I thought, oh, this is this is good. We, you just get a few people and invent a game, and, and uh, they write their own script, and they come along and be funny. So I thought up some really stupid games, and I thought we could get the cast of, uh, I'm sorry, I'll read that again together, and make this comedy panel show, which we did. And none of us had quite knew what to expect. Well, we hadn't really prepared for it. Well, you can't. A lot of it was ad-libbed. Um, and it was a horrible experience. Apart from the fact that David Hatch, who produced it, and I had both independently come up with the idea of Humphrey Littleton in the chair. Uh, and he was great. But uh, we all hated doing the pilot, and they all gave me a very hard time afterwards. And uh, we all said never again. But the BBC commissioned a series, and so we were lumbered. And uh, the first two or three years it was pretty, pretty harrowing. And I think at the end of every series we said never again. And we still do. What I love about the show is it's so simple and it's so silly and you don't take yourself seriously and you're not wrapped up in political nonsense. It really is just about having fun, isn't it? It is. It's it's the sound of time wasting as well. I, I described it once. Uh, that's all it is. It's, uh, you know, people play games like Monopoly or poker or whist or bridge or whatever it is. And it's just filling time. And it's quite exciting to do and quite fun to do. Uh, and so that's what I hope this game is, is like and what this show is like. It's certainly fun for us. And we've got a terrifically warm, supportive sort of audience who follow us now. And, uh, and that's wonderful. They... The audience has come to see the show and you know that they're, they're determined to have a good time, whatever we do. And they are almost in on the gag. I mean, you mentioned Lionel Blair and he gets a cheer before you've even yeah. done your terrible lines about him. Where do these characters come from that you pick on? Mostly they come from Ian Pattinson, who, who writes The Links and has for about uh, 20 years nearly. Um, and all, he wrote all the pumps material. He goes on writing material for the show now. And, and it would just, he would just get a bee in his bonnet now and again about a, a character and who would uh, go on every week about Lionel Blair or Mrs. Trellis or Samantha. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all fictional characters, I hasten to add. But... Um, yeah, that's where it came from. And the audience are very much in uh, on the joke. Uh, yep, certain rounds are announced and get, get a round of applause. Or when we play, we're playing Mornington Crescent, somebody will make a move and say, maybe Piccadilly Circus. And the audience will go, the audience will go Ooh, and there'll be this sort of murmur and rustle and the disapproval in the audience or a big round of applause, you know, like a cricket match. This set of interviews today for me have been really simple because I just ask you all the same questions and I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Barry. What have you enjoyed doing the most and who have you enjoyed working with the most because you've had such a fascinating career? Um, well, I don't, yeah, lots of things were great fun to do. The goodies was obviously terrific for, for those 10 years that we did them. Um, 
I suppose the, the most sort of ongoing fun has been Clue because that's 37 years or whatever it is and it's been a delight to work with this very nice bunch of people and it's been a platform for us to uh, get to know and meet and work with some of the younger people uh, who are coming along and coming up who otherwise we probably wouldn't necessarily uh, uh, be able to appear on the same platform with. So that's been, uh, I think that's been the most enduring fun but everything, you know, I'd do a bit in Miss Marple or something, and that's fun. Then <laughs> you do a bit in, in Holby City, and that's good fun. Um, and uh, yeah, Tim and I are off back to Australia. We had fun there a couple of times, doing a, a tour of a, a sort of goodies show, showing clips and chatting. We were going back to chat some more, just not just about goodies, but I hope about Clue, because now that the Clue DVD is out, we can we can show some clips to that to the Australians, if they can see it through the dust. Well, we'll talk to Tim next and find out if he's looking forward to it. We'll also talk to Jeremy Hardy, and we've got Jack D on the way. We're here today celebrating the stars of Sorry I Haven't a Clue, uh, which is one of the greatest radio quizzes ever. We'll play a piece of music, and then we'll play something from the new CD. Graham, thanks so much for talking to me. It's been my pleasure, Alex. <laughs> 